Welcome to the video on how to draw ions. This is going to sound very familiar because drawing ions is just like drawing a neutral molecule, which is what we were doing last class. The only difference is that you have to change the number of electrons you have in your map, in your electron pool, according to the charge of the ion. And then at the end, we just have to put the molecule in brackets and put that charge on the outside. So let's try an example. Nitrite ion. First thing you need to know, what's the formula for nitrite ion? You should still have your polyatomic ion chart memorized. So nitrite ion, NO2, negative 1 charge. All right, first decision. Who goes in the middle? Nitrogen is the oddball, so it's going to go in the middle. With the two oxygens on either side. Now we have to draw a map. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. There's one of it. Oxygen has six valence electrons. There's two of that. But then, this negative here, what does it mean to be negative ion? That means you added one electron. So we're going to add another electron for it being a negative one ion. If this was a negative two, we'd add two electrons. If this was a positive one, we'd subtract an electron. Because that's what it means to be a negative or a positive charge. So that gives us a total of 18 electrons. Then make our bonds. And we're going to have to subtract two for each bond. We made two. Okay, now we're going to count for need. Each of these guys needs six. And the nitrogen needs four. That's 10 plus six is 16. But we only have 14, so we're going to have to make another bond. You can have double bonds and ions, just like you can have double bonds anywhere else. Both oxygen and nitrogen are on a monster, so we can make a double bond anywhere. It doesn't matter if you do it here or here, so I just pick one. Subtract another two. Recount. Now this one needs four, this one needs two, for a total of 12. And we have 12, so now we can put our electrons on. So this guy gets four. This guy gets two. This one gets six. And then there's one more thing we have to do for ions, because um, they're not the neutral molecules. Let's erase this piece of space back here. We also have to put the whole picture in brackets and put the charge of the ion on the outside of the bracket to tell us this is not a neutral molecule, this is an ion, and it has that charge. Thank you.